Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum has broken to the downside out of this bearish rising wedge pattern that we were discussing yesterday here on the channel before this move actually happened. So right now, we need to be paying attention to some important levels of support for Ethereum. I'm also paying attention to the trend in the RSI for Ethereum as well, and I'm using this as a part of my Ethereum strategy to potentially accumulate more Ethereum very soon. Later in this video, I will quickly be covering Ethereum versus Bitcoin, just here because we are holding up pretty nicely in the short term for Ethereum versus Bitcoin. And on top of all of that, I'll be going over the EIP 1559 upgrade that happened around a week ago now, because right now Ethereum has officially crossed over $100 million worth of Ethereum that has been permanently burned, completely destroyed forever. Once again, over $100 million has been deleted. For the new viewers on the channel, I'll be explaining exactly what this means. So do not miss out on any of this important information. Make sure you're watching the video all the way to the end. And if that sounds good to you, just before we jump into it, make sure to leave a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so that you're not missing out on any of these future videos. But anyway, with all of that out of the way, let's get straight into what this videos about. So this video is just going to be a quick Ethereum update going over just a couple short term patterns and price targets and starting off here on the Ethereum to US dollar chart on the four hour time frame. And just starting off here, as I actually discussed yesterday on the channel, we were actually forming this small rising wedge pattern on the four hour Ethereum chart once again. And technically speaking, that is a bearish pattern. So it is more likely to break to the downside. And of course this did now break to the downside. So for those of you that did watch my video yesterday, once again, you should been expecting this small little cool off in the short term. Now the technical price target for a rising wedge pattern is simply the bottom of the wedge, which is actually coming in at almost exactly 3000, just below 3000. So in around that $3,000 level is actually where I would expect the next massive support for Ethereum. And that's due to the fact that we've already found massive support at that exact level just there. The lowest level of support for this entire red range just here is at around 2.8k. So if we start breaking below 2.8 8k then in that scenario i would actually expect a little bit more of a bearish trend just for the next few days potentially the next week or so once again that is only if we cannot hold above 2.8k so of course we still have a lot of supports between now and then but yeah if we cannot hold 2.8k then we do have our next major support levels coming in at roughly around two and a half thousand us dollars but of course those lower levels do not come into play for as long as we're still using this red zone just here as support which once again is initially starting at around 3,000 US dollars. Now keep in mind that in the short term, the volume here is still on a decline. So this is a reason to be skeptical of the current price action. So right now I am not in any high leverage position or anything like that. In fact, I never recommend leverage trading for the beginners out there. Trading Bitcoin and Ethereum should only be left for the more experienced investors and traders out there. But yeah, even for those of you that are experienced in these markets, right now is one of those more risky times to be extremely leveraged up, considering the fact that we are on pretty pretty low volume and it's totally possible that we can see some crazy wick to the upside or to the downside on low volume, which once again, if you're on higher leverage, that sort of thing can completely liquidate your position or at least stop your position out. So my strategy right now for Ethereum is basically to wait and see if Ethereum actually drops back down towards these levels of support and simply dollar cost average into Ethereum at those lower levels. That is exactly what I will be doing moving forward. And that Ethereum that I'm accumulating at those lower levels just there, I will be holding that for the longer term as in for at least the rest of this year, but preferably for the next few years. And then it's only after we can confirm a nice little bounce here at these support levels, or perhaps if we can confirm a nice higher low here on the chart, anything like that is when I would actually start entering into another short term trade for Ethereum. And I'll let you guys know that on this channel and also on my Twitter link in the description to my Twitter, if you want to get extra updates throughout the day. And by the way, for those wondering exactly how I actually set up my trades, how I enter short positions, long positions, set up conditional orders, all of that sort of stuff. I do actually have a video linked in the description down below that shows you exactly how I do all of that from start to finish. For those of you that want a start into trading, there'll be a section in there where I've got suggested videos and a couple different videos linked in the description. And it will be the first video that's linked in that section of the description down below. Now, besides this rising wedge pattern, we did actually form a small little bearish divergence on the Ethereum chart just here on the four hour time frame. Once again, as you can see, we formed a high and a higher high for the Ethereum price but 
the RSI for Ethereum formed a high and a lower high. So once again, for the beginners out there, that is a bearish divergence. And what it basically means is in the immediate short term, it's unlikely that we're going to continue to the upside. And it's simply more likely that we're either going to have a bit of a consolidation, if not a slight cool off to the downside. And so this sort of price action is what I do normally expect after seeing a bearish divergence. So this is totally normal and totally healthy for Ethereum. Even if we do continue a little bit lower in the short term, that if anything will be totally normal considering the fact that when you're looking at the daily time frame for Ethereum, as you can see, we've been in a crazy uptrend over the past three weeks approximately with barely any short term cool off. Of course, we did see this one red daily candle just here in the middle of all of this green. And right now we are definitely in the middle of a short term cool off once again. And this cool off is actually needed when you're paying attention to the daily time frame. Looking at the RSI, we were actually in overbought territories on the daily time frame for Ethereum. So having this short term cool off will allow the RSI to enter back into these more neutral areas, which will actually give us more room to the upside moving forward over the next few weeks and months. So that's why I myself will consider any sort of downside price action in the short term as a buying opportunity to hold for the longer term. And right now, checking out EIP 1559, as you can see just here, this is continuing to burn Ethereum every single day at a remarkable rate. As you can see just here, ever since roughly around a week ago, this new update in the Ethereum network once again has been constantly burning Ethereum. And right now, we've actually reached a milestone of 100 million US dollars worth of Ethereum currently that has actually been burned. This has been permanently destroyed. And for the beginners out there that are wondering what this actually means, basically all of this Ethereum has now been taken away from the circulating supply of Ethereum. So this is making Ethereum rarer and rarer every single day. This is reducing Ethereum's inflation rates, which are all actually bullish things for the Ethereum price when you're talking about the longer term. Fundamentally speaking, this is bullish once again. And this is likely to have been one of the main drivers in the massive run in Ethereum over the past couple of weeks, considering the fact that this upgrade has been a huge success ever since its launch around a week ago. And all of this Ethereum that is getting burned every single day, all of this Ethereum that is getting taken away from the circulating supply of existing Ethereum, this is not slowing down anytime soon. And it is keeping up with this remarkable rate of Ethereum getting burned every single day. And it is very likely that this is going to have a long-term effect on the price of Ethereum, similar to that of a Bitcoin halving, because of course, a Bitcoin halving halving also reduces the inflation rate of Bitcoin. We see that every four years. Now, of course, with the Bitcoin halving, it is actually taking away from the block reward, not the fees. Whereas this EIP 1559, the block reward hasn't changed. This is simply burning Ethereum fees. So even though it does work slightly different to a Bitcoin halving, the end result is still pretty similar to a Bitcoin halving. Once again, it basically places a restriction on the supply of Ethereum and reduces the inflation rate, just like what a Bitcoin halving does for Bitcoin. And usually we see a huge huge supply shock hit Bitcoin roughly around half a year later after we see the Bitcoin halving. Taking a quick look on the Bitcoin chart just here, this is the Bitcoin to US dollar chart on the daily time frame. Just to quickly show you exactly what actually happened after we saw the halving just here, which by the way, we saw the third Bitcoin halving play out in May 2020. And it was roughly around half a year later that the actual supply shock from that halving finally started kicking in to the Bitcoin price. Once again, it was roughly around half a year until all of this supply shock finally hit the market and the Bitcoin price began to explode to the upside. So switching back to the Ethereum to US dollar chart on the one day time frame just here, and this red dotted line just here was the EIP 1559 upgrade that we saw roughly around a week ago once again. So if we measure out around six months, so if we measure out around six months, about 180 days from that upgrade, that actually puts us in around January 2022. So the very beginning of next year. So after this upgrade, we have seen nothing yet, nothing close to the effect of like a Bitcoin halving, because once again, this is a long term game for Ethereum. Now quickly checking out the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart just here. This is on the four hour time frame. As you can see, we're still pretty much just trading sideways. Ethereum is strongly following what Bitcoin is doing. That's what that actually means. And right now we are still technically forming a W pattern for as long as we can head back up to this level just here at 
around 0.0713 Bitcoin per Ethereum approximately. And if we can break above that level, then that would confirm this W pattern to the upside. But for now, while we're still below that resistance level just there, once again, we're looking pretty neutral in the short term for Ethereum versus Bitcoin, because during these sort of times in the markets, Ethereum and Bitcoin do stay pretty correlated to each other, which is why this chart is going pretty much sideways once again in the short term. But when you're zooming out on the daily time frame just here, we are still in the middle of this break to the upside. As you can see, we're still actually forming higher highs and higher lows on the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart on the daily time frame once again. So we are still leaning more bullish than bearish for Ethereum versus Bitcoin right now on the daily time frame. But anyway, that's just about everything I have to say for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on for more videos like this one. I honestly appreciate all of the support in the channel at the moment. I can't thank you guys enough. But anyway, that's really everything I have to say for this video. Once again, I really hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.